Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial for the Long Envelope Journal. Now this is an adaptation that I've altered from May May Made It Crafts. I will link her tutorial in the description box. Mine is slightly different. We are unable to add pages. So once this journal is complete, it is glued down on the left hand side and this is what keeps it all bound together. But with May Mays, you can actually add, like an album, more pages as you work through. So it's, you know, really good to possibly link hers and have a little look so you can do it two ways. But as I've had so many comments regarding this long envelope, I felt that it was necessary to share a small tutorial with you. So I'm going to put these to one side and I'll explain some of the items that you need to have to hand before you can make this long envelope journal. You are going to need four envelopes. Mine just happen to be eight and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. And if you get four of the same, they could be from um, mail. You know, you don't have to, in this case, mine just happened to be from a writing set. Also, depending on your size of envelope, mine I'm using the envelope that you see in front of you. So I have also suggest that you just cut yourself some thin cardstock at six and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. If you want it to cover the front and the flaps you'll need 12. If you'd like it to be slightly more robust and cover the backs you're going to need 16 pieces of card measured but as we go throughout it will become more explanatory. So with your four envelopes the one of the very first things to do is go in by two inches and score down the first two inch mark. This is because we would like our book to be able to move left and right. These pages have got to turn and we also want to be able to open up the flap. So once you have scored your four envelopes at the two inch mark, I would like you then to consider that the left hand flap here is going to be glued and we are going to cut on that score line just up to the top. That way you'll end up with an envelope that very, looks very much like so. So you've just glued the flap down. If you've got one that you can peel, one you can lick, this is going to be part of our binding so it doesn't have to, it, it just a quick piece of glue along there. And now we've got our envelope with our flap. Our next step is to make sure we do not have too much bulk here on the section that flips. If we have too much bulk, it's going to cause us some difficulty when we lift up to reveal our A, our pocket, and B, when we go to make the flip. So I suggest that you cut off with your pair of scissors just a little triangular section and this way you're cutting away the bulk. So now that you have done, you've cut away the bulk as you can see here. The next stage is to make sure all four envelopes are, if you like your envelope to have a distressed and vintage feel, this is the time to make sure that you Put distress ink on the crease, back and front, paying attention to the top, all of the areas. I also like to apply a small amount, even though this is going to be glued together. I do like that section to have a small amount of distressing, but that could be left to the end. There is absolutely no need to distress your flap because we will cover it. And yet again, there is no need to distress this inner part of the envelope for we are going to cover those in a section in the next section 
so now that we have got our envelope we've got all our four envelopes now they've all been distressed up they've all been scored and the little flaps have all been glued down this is where we get one piece of our card and as i said for me it's six and a quarter by three and a half inches but your particular envelope will dictate how much you've got overhanging because we are going to glue our card onto the top of our envelope to do this to make sure that you don't actually glue your pocket shut first thing to do is to take in my instance I've just got some tacky glue so some wet glue will do and just run your glue along the outer edge now as soon as you've done that take your piece of card turn it over and yet again run the wet glue from just above the center down and around and up again to just above the center the very top is left without any glue because you've already glued the top of the envelope so no accidents can happen when you actually put these down together and so once that is glued the next thing you'll be doing you've done all four so you have an envelope you've got a pocket and you've now got a flap and the back is bare our next section is to take our envelope turn it over and apply yet again wet glue glue stick whatever works for you to the very top of your exposed flap that way you are then going to just take the card which has no glue on and pop it on taking care that when you apply this piece of card that you are just aware that you are not buffing it butting it right up to the score line you still want to be able to move our flap so once that's glued all four are done you will end up with an envelope that has the front glued on and you can see now the top section of the flap has been glued on the next thing to do where I've applied the red basically you are now going to apply glue to the very top section taking your next piece of card you will then glue them both together bearing in mind not to butt the card too closely to the fold you still need a proportion of room so you can actually turn the flap if you do all four you will then end up with a situation you have got your front your back and the top of your envelope now at the beginning of the tutorial I said that you could cut up to 16 pieces of card if you wanted to you could also apply a piece of card to the very back of the envelope so that would be then four pieces of card per envelope i collaged mine and i didn't feel it was necessary to actually place the fourth piece of card on the back so that left me with 12 pieces so now you have your four envelopes and they are ready to decorate now i have already pre-decorated four envelopes and i've done a collage effect at this point it's worth noting that on the top i've left the corners here are square so this is the top flap on the one the first one i've decorated i also looked at just rounding the very top corners this helps when it comes to actually opening up 
the envelope and also now we can reveal the inside flap and that makes for a very nice pocket so I've decorated four of these in a collage style so once you've got your four decorated you don't have to use a collage style you can just scrap use scrapbooking paper or anything of your personal choice I've got all four here so the tops are covered the centers the pockets are open and I've done the backs just reveal the very last one that I worked on and on the very back I've just got this United Kingdom and Ireland now that leaves me to take all four together this is if you have some strong glue I mean tacky glue will do the job you're going to need to get yourself some bulldog clips you're going to glue every other flap so apply glue this one is going to stick to that one apply glue this one will stick to that one apply glue this one will stick to that one so once they are all four glued i would make sure they're as square as you could possibly get them apply some bulldog clips this is so it nicely glues together and then leave once they are dry it will reveal that you've still got this envelope section to cover so my suggestion is I've collaged just use scrapbooking paper here odds and scraps and on this front one I've just put one piece of scrapbooking paper just to cover that bare envelope and then once that is dry you have finished and completed the long envelope journal and as I said if you would like to refer back to May May Made It Crafts and into the description box you will see her album and then you'll get two different types thank you ever so much guys I hope that was of some help speak to you soon bye bye